Hello there YouTube, today I'm going to show you a cool mod that I found on online uh, called Computercraft. Now, the amazing thing about this is you've got computers in Minecraft um, and they're fully programmable which means you can edit them and code them however you want to do weird and cool things. Um, now, the advantage with them is um, they can send redstone signals, they can send data to one computer to another to tell it to do something, turn on engines uh, for build craft, anything you can think of these things can make as long as you can create it. Now obviously uh, I'm only showing um, three items here today which is the monitor terminal and the Wi-Fi. Uh, to make the monitor what you do is you place stone all the way around your crafting table with a pane of glass in the middle and that will make you one of these monitors. Uh, a terminal which is one of these here. These uh, is where you're going to spend most of your time coding and setting up programs and what have you they're easy to make they're literally this this mod um, is cheap to make anything so a stone all the way around except for at the bottom panel is glass pane uh, redstone in the center and that will create you your terminal which is probably the dearest thing here um, the next thing is the, uh, the Wi-Fi which is stone all the way around with a redstone torch in the middle and that will create you a Wi-Fi now these Wi-Fi's as you can see this one is red because I've turned it on up there that's what they look like um, to connect them to a computer you have to actually hold shift and right click on the computer and it will place a uh, Wi-Fi for you uh, right now I've set up a little program here uh, just basics of what it can do I, if you want some more tutorials I can willingly make a few more programs or if you ask me I'll make a program for you you can see it uh, so what this program does is basically um, I've set it up here so that um, I've made like a user interface so that you can uh, control the door um, so basically if I press 1 I'll open the door and if I press 2 it will close the door and if I exit if I type exit it it will quit so if I press 1 and press that as you can see I've opened the door and a little slimy bowl go away get out of my house Ugh. as you can see it's pretty cool I've opened the door literally from over here um, these will actually work I think is 64 I better close this because they're all coming in press 2 to close press enter and it's closed right get out of my house I don't want Ah, there we go, right. So now I've closed the door by pressing 2. Now these, uh, the Wi Fi can reach, I think it's 64 blocks in a straight line. Uh, diagonals, I think, is a little bit less because of the way it diagonals. I'm not quite sure about that though. Um, but you can actually edit it in the text file so you could have it uh, 2000 blocks so you wouldn't have to put a computer between them and it will still control it from the other side obviously if the chunks are loaded if the chunks aren't and I haven't tested it but I'm not sure if it will load them that far away um, so yeah that is literally just a simple open and close um, application that I've created um, so I'll exit this now to make it quit the program there is quit the program but it didn't clear the screen now obviously I can show you how to do that now 
So what we do um, is first off we type right if I clear the screen right now what we do is you'll, you'll when you first enter one of one of these computers um, it'll look like this so you open it up it says craft OS 1.4 uh, depending what craft obviously what version of uh, computer craft you got uh, and what you do is you type in even if you haven't got the file there you type in edit start up now the start up will automatically run when the computer turns on uh, which is an advantage because obviously you don't want to go around turning all your, telling all your computers to load up these certain programs every time so if you want the computer to load it up straight away then you edit the startup but obviously you can pick you can make loads of applications you can store them on there um, so to explain how this works is basically rednet is your wireless internet um, dot open and then obviously the top so what you do is put uh, open brackets uh, top and then close um, now x equals 1 now basically what happening here is um, I'll explain a little bit further down so currently x equals 1 so while x uh, is not equal to exit then you do something so because it doesn't equal exit it's going to run all this code down here as soon as it equals exit it's going to quit the program so what happens is so so we've got while x um, doesn't equal exit do clear terminal so basically it wipes the computer screen uh, then set the terminal cursor position to the very top corner one by one so it's literally this one uh, and then print this now literally you just put print uh, open brackets speech marks um, yeah hash 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 all the way across um, so we could change that to a couple of curlies that's what I like calling them a couple of curlies so we literally just add a couple of curlies in there um, so that's just like a little user interface you, you, you it doesn't do nothing it's just there for the user to know what he's doing so now x equals io dot read open and close parentheses uh, bracket sorry um, basically that that's waiting for a user's input but what it's going to do is whatever the user inputs it resembles x so it'll be x equals one so technically I've done that wrong and this should equal something absolutely random like blah because we don't want it to close and we don't want it to open the door when it turns on or because that would be a bit of an issue so what happens is x equal, equals whatever you type then we're gonna run if x uh, and then you press enter between these two lines uh, if x equals equals which means if it actually equals one then rednet.send means that basically you're going to send something over the internet uh, open brackets three comma 
Now three is actually the other computers over here. This this computer's number is three. Um, this one's four. The computer we're at now is four. Uh, and then you tell it to open and then end. And then obviously the same for uh, if equals two. Uh, tell computer three to close. And then you end each if and end the while. If you don't end the while, it'll all error out. Right, so we'll save that and quit and reboot and as you can see our little curlies are in there where we pull it, it doesn't mean nothing can click it, it doesn't do anything so now we'll have a look at what makes this one tick so if we hold control and press T it terminates the program that it's running um, so if we go edit start up press enter now obviously we got rednet dot open on the back so basically on the back of this machine is my wireless so you've got to locate where the back of it is or if it's at the top or the right or the left or the bottom uh, front don't work because obviously you can't touch the screen I think you can though but for obviously making it look good you wouldn't um, while x equal does not equal 1 do this because obviously I've made x equal 0 so now what it's doing is here is constantly every 10 seconds checking for well 10 clicks I think they call it it's checking for a message. Once it receives a message, uh, the ID and the message, it, if ID equals equals 4, so if the computer ID is 4, which the other one is, and the message equals equals open, then redstone output, as you notice there's a capital O there, you've got to put a capital O or is it layer 8 so the redstone dot set output um, open brackets to the right is true so basically it sends a redstone signal to the right which would be the door and then end and also the same with close so if ID equals equals for and message equals equals close then redstone output as you can see with the capital O right false so then it f turns off the redstone signal so it won't do that I could put a timer on here so it would turn off automatically after 10 seconds or something but I, I never for demonstration purposes um, so yeah that is literally all you have to do to make one of these doors uh, it's, it's pretty cool uh, there's a lot you can do with it now obviously this is my first tutorial so it's probably not amazing um, but obviously I'm just rebooting the system there uh, if you really if you want me to do some more tutorials about this like how to show um, text onto a monitor um, or well anything else anything you want me to try and create with the uh, computer craft or any other mod uh, just drop me a comment and I'll willingly have a go at creating something for you um, thanks for watching um, check out my uh, minecraft um, episode it's not amazing it's my first ever episode so yeah check that out and uh, also check out fizz's girl um, it's also on this channel and she's make she's doing a bit of left for dead um, might took all your fancy all right thanks for watching uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe 
and comment below. Thanks very much. Goodbye.